Hallelujah. Amen. Um, you are so, I'm so honored to stand before you. And uh, I thank God for this conference. I believe that your life will never be the same. God is telling, telling us something. Uh, that's not what I'm going to preach about. But I'll, be, I'll talk about it later. Uh, when I was in Canada, the Lord told me to take the church out of the building. From the, the church is dying because it is inside. The church has to go out. Take the church out of the building. Um, not because that we are closing up our service and everything. But we have to go out in, 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 in the church. And uh, we went on giving me some classes in the Bible. The Jacob, Jacob had 12 sons. But uh, one they sold him in Egypt. Now the eleven one they ended up also in Egypt. Now two sons of Jacob. Including Jacob himself. The family came and heated the cup that the, 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 the city where they were living. Then they had to go to buy food in Egypt. Now when they reached Egypt, uh, they were given a certain city, small city to live in. But when you read in the book of Exodus, the Bible says that they might fly. They might fly the way. Where? In Egypt, not in Canaan. In Canaan, there were 12 sons. When they came in Egypt, that's where they might fly. And they might fly there. And they became stronger. Where? In Egypt. They became mighty. Where? In Egypt. That is all their success. It was in Egypt. Now when the church set itself on an island, that's why the church is not multiplying. That's why the church is not growing. The church grows when the church multiplies when you go out. The child becomes stronger and stronger when it has gone out. The nation, the, our nation of Egypt, they, they were worried about, about the children of Israel. Because of the way how they were multiplied. Uganda is not afraid of born again. Uganda why? We don't scare them. We are in a building fighting one another. Then they are not scared. They are so sad as they are not scared. Yesterday, a preacher who preached here, who had a meeting from where we had a meeting with him, he's supposed to travel to Guru. Among that group, there's a certain pastor who came who was part of that, that meeting. And he is one of the sons of a, one of the big men in Uganda in Uganda industry. Now we were talking about what's going on. And he said that there is something which we have to break through. In this country. And if we don't break it, this nation is in danger. Then, then I told him that the first person to do that is your father. But your father, he's in the pocket of those who are supposed, whom we are supposed to break. 
if we can do nothing about it. No, Rachel, China, just so what I put out. Then you are right. Nangam, you are right. You are right. Now, as the church, when we don't go out, the nation is not worried about it. And when we are not, and when we are not careful, one day they are going to pass difficult laws concerning women. Because we don't scare them. You understand? Amen. Now, how can we scare our country when you, we go out? There's a time when we scared even the religious. They come for burial, they talk about burial. They come for the Christmas party, they talk about burial. They are no longer talking about us. <laughs> All rumors to be again back to them. Kubanga tuglinga abadayo jevali. We need to go out. Tuino furuma we. You understand? Amen. Now I will talk about that later. Kati chunge na chiyonge na kuhusu. Yesterday, remember our theme. Mujolo na kula jomo juu kila mtuwego afi. How we are kingdom mindset. Yesterday I talked about the kingdom. When we are leaders down there, we are talking about the mindset. Today we have talked deeper about the mind. Now we are talking about the mind. Today allow me to speak again about the kingdom. Now we are talking about the mind. about the kingdom. Now we are talking about the mind. Now we are talking about the mind. Now we are talking about the the kingdom. Mindset, Understand about the kingdom. Mrs. 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 And if you don't understand the, the kingdom and the value and the importance of the kingdom, then you want to work up on your mind to have a kingdom mindset. Then you want to work hard to, to work hard on your mindset to have a kingdom mindset. There are going to point out some few verses for, so that all of us may understand the value and the importance of the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Let's in Matthew chapter 13. Let's read verse 44 up to 46. Okutani kina kuniyira na mnyia, paka na mukha. Ogwa kabaka ogwa mukuru, ufana na no echo kaka ekiyaki swa musuku. Omuntu na chiraba na chweka, nore sanye na gena na tunda. Biari na biyo yonna na kulo skolu na na che ogwa kwa kubo mukuru fara na omu tumu tunzi anonya elulu enuji biara ba elulu emu emu endo muzi na agena na tunda biari na biyo yonna na chukula. Can you repeat those verses again? I think some of them were in the Ogwa kwa kubo mukuru ufara na nicho kaka echa kisiva musuku. Omuntu na chiraba na chukweka. Nore sanyo niye na agena na atunda yari na vyo vyo na. Na agula olusuko uruo. Na te uwaka wako uwa mguru ufana no mtu wa mtu mzi. Anonya luru enonji. Weyalaba eluwe mwe yomu wendo mungi. Na agena na atunda yari na vyo vyo na na ajikula. You can talk that. Let me get someone with the English. Kafno mtu wa ina olusuko na yasa uh -huh. mweko. If you if you have an English Bible, can you come and give me the microphone? Don't put them again. Yep. 
You want to understand the world about this issue of the kingdom and its value. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragon that was cast into the sea and gathered some of You already verse what? Do you read verse 45? 45. 45. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking yes. beautiful pearls. You started at the 45, not 44. Can you read again about verse 44? Verse 44, the Bible says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. Now, when you see the truth which was hidden in the in the, in the parable, anything which you are going to get or to know, you are going to value it. Now, if, if you have been having questions why Jesus was speaking parables, that was, that was the one of the reason why he spoke in parables. Hiding something which is very, very important. So that it can, it can be landed into the right people, into the right hands. So that people that can get them and seek it by themselves. You understand? Amen. Now, the kingdom itself is so important. And uh, it's so valuable. Hear what the Bible says. And again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. The kingdom of God it is hidden. Can I put it? It is hidden. It is a Treasure which is hidden. Not everybody that understands it. But now it is very valuable. You understand? Amen. We shall see it again. It's hidden, hidden in a field. Which a man found and hide it. And for joy over it, he goes and sold all that he had and come and bought that field. This man, he had also certain things. In other words, he was rich. But when he found out about the treasure which was hidden, he, he compared the treasure which was hidden and even what he has and came out to know that this treasure which is hidden is more valuable than what I have. Now, the only way of me buying this treasure is I have to go and sell each and everything which I have so that I can come and buy this treasure. So that I can come and buy this field. That means what was in the field was so treasured than what he had. Now, the, the kingdom of God is so treasured than anything which you have. Now, most of the people, mainly Christians, we have not sold what we have in order to buy the treasure of which was found in the, in the field. We are still clicking on what we have. We think 
that what we have is more important than the kingdom. We, we think that what we have is more valuable than the kingdom. Because we don't understand the value of the kingdom of God. The reason to be my friends if you are to become a real citizen of the kingdom if you have to learn to walk into the kingdom life the system of the kingdom you have to sell what you have in order to have the kingdom why do you have to sell because the kingdom is more valued than anything which you see amen you cannot live a kingdom life without selling something. You cannot have a kingdom life without selling something. You cannot have a kingdom mindset unless you have sold something and you buy the kingdom because the kingdom is more important very important than anything which you can measure I need two people others came from the moon The Bible says, Bible for overjoy, he went and sold each and everything and, and came and bought this. What, what it tells us here, that the man sat down and saw that everything which he has, they are not important than that field where there is a treasure. Then he decided to lose what he has in order to come and buy the treasure. Because he has found out there's a stranger here which is more important. Now Jesus is telling us the kingdom of God, that's how it is. Whoever finds out that precious thing in the kingdom he sells off each and everything he has. He sells off all the things he sees that are important. He sells off the things he thought he were important. He sells them off. And after selling them, he comes and buys the kingdom. You cannot sell something when you're not going to buy a valuable thing, a more valuable thing. You cannot get a valuable thing and you sell it and, the one which you have sold. and then you buy something which is less valuable. Yeah, you might be right because you can. We have people here who have sold their land and buy border borders. The land and border borders which is valued. Money. But he is sell it. No And you buy boda boda. a border border. Here you sell. You sell your land. And after selling no it, you go to the Arabs and work. Listing how you're quiet. So it is not true. You can sell something which you can no sell a thing and buy something which is less valuable. But today I want us to change our mentality. Let us buy valuable things and sell all things which are less valuable so that you get valuable things. Amen. So in one word is valuable. It is the word of the kingdom. We are going to see it why it's valuable. Can you read verse 45? Let us go to verse 45. Uh -huh. 
Mufuana no moto mtunsi Ano nye lulwe nunchi Bwe alaba elulwe mwe yomwe do mungi Na agena natu ndabi agena bebi yon na na ajikula Natuwa kwa 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 Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Have you got me? That the kingdom of God is like a merchant who was buying a, a precious. When he saw only one like this, he went and sold off each and everything he had. He came and bought this pearl. What he sold it was so much more than one pearl. Because, because what he found out that this one was more important than the other things. He sold all of the other things and bought this one thing. Why do these men? Why did they sell off what they had and buy this piece of land? They had found something more. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I think these men are crazy. How can you sell everything and you buy just one thing? So we're not talking about the same thing. It doesn't make sense. They were crazy. Huh? Don't you think they were crazy? How many have been? Don't you think they were crazy? How many have been? How many are saying what they found was more valuable? So you have not put your finger on where they fall. The crazy people you're not there. Precious thing you're not there. So where do you fall? <laughs> Be careful. Don't people mind the crazy. Now, Jesus is trying to give us a, a picture. Number one, that the kingdom of God is more valued than anything which you know. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of God is more important than anything which you have never seen. That's what Jesus was trying to do. Second, he is telling you that sell each and everything and drink yourself about into the kingdom. That